Hello and welcome to the review of the Glary Jazz Bass, G-J-A-Z-Z, -Z. yeah, jazz. Uh, that's fun to say, and hey, it's fun to play. Uh, okay, all, all corniness aside, I love this bass, and I'm not just saying that. Glary did send me this bass to mess around with and to share with you guys, but I want to do nothing more than give my honest opinion and review of this bass. And so let's get started. First of all, it's it's got a great weight. It's not too heavy or, or it doesn't feel cheap. One of the things that I will say when searching for a bass years ago is that it was hard to find something with decent action. And that's the, the distance between where the string kind of sets naturally and the rest of uh, the fretboard so that it either feels easy to play or it feels like you're just pushing down and it, honestly that takes a lot of the joy out of music when you're fighting your instrument for you know under a hundred dollars this is an absolute blessing and so uh, we'll get into some of the features of the bass here and then I'll, I'll play it and do a little demo because uh, I do like to play this. This is just, it's so fun. On the bottom here we have a tone knob and that kind of shapes the way that the bass sounds. Say if you want it to be more out there and more trebly and you're, you're solo and you're doing your thing or maybe you just kind of want to sit in the back of the band and just, you know, you got to get the head bob down, you got to do the groove and uh, so that's that's this knob, um, you know, groove not included. You gotta you gotta practice that. But then you have these two pickups here, which further allow you to get different sounds out of the instrument as you would want. So this second middle knob here is the bridge pickup, and that is a more treble sound. It has more treble in it, I should say. Um, and here I'll just go ahead and give you a demo. You know, just just have a lot of fun and, and let that, that treble really speak for itself and ring out. And then the neck pickup here, controlled by this last knob, gives you a more uh, subdued No, that's why they call it the jazz bass. Uh, and then you can mix them, which is which is great. You can get the full array of sounds. So you're you're still hearing all the details. But it still sounds full and you can you can drive it. So let me show you some examples with guitar so that I can just kind of groove and, and let the instrument speak for itself. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So in addition to the base, you get a couple of bags. This first one has a pick, all of the Allen wrenches that you would ever need to tune up your base uh, if the action was too high or, or to mess with it. Uh, personally, to start with, if you don't know what you're doing, I would recommend seeing a professional that would help you adjust things in the way that you'd like. It's got a cable for your amp and it comes with a strap and this handy uh, gig case that has a little zipper in it that you could put all of that uh, other stuff that I just mentioned in there and uh, you know maybe some some sheet music or some some tabs or really whatever else you want to carry in there I find a bag like this is essential if you want to take it uh, somewhere for a gig or even if you just want to keep it protected while you are not using it Yeah, whether you're just picking up the base or you're just picking up this base because well, you're like me and you like bases um, Yeah, this this kit has everything that you need to get started and to keep on playing So I, I hope you enjoyed this review. I've been Ian Blaine and this is my my new base my new buddy right here we're gonna have some some good times together. So uh, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.